Hello and welcome to this presentation from Raven Glen. My name is Jeff Fitzpatrick and I'm going to tell you about the trading records that we use at Raven Glen. And we're looking basically at one of four main pages of an Excel spreadsheet. It's quite a clever sheet though. The top quarter of this page is dedicated to summarizing where we are currently at in real time. The area below that is a month by month summary of what's happened over the course of a year. So when you save this, you should save it <clears throat> as the year that you're in, so that you can keep the template as a master for use in future years. The boxes that we can use are only the boxes which are shown in white. All of the rest of them are locked. Most of them are pretty easy to use. So first of all, for example, we've got your name here. In that box, you can put anything, either the, your name or the name of an account, if you perhaps run several accounts. In the equity at start, well, that's going to be literally the equity from your trading account, not the balance, but definitely the equity. So I've used an example of £2,000 and I've entered that here. Now we can see that in the lower area, the months are shown as month 1 through to 10. If I scroll down, I go to 12 and it's January 00. zero. But when I enter the date into the box in the top section, so that would be, for example, 01 slash 09 slash 2012, then we can see that all the dates start with the month we're in and they progress uh, as they should through the calendar. So during month one, let's assume that we work and we use about three days of activity. So I'm going to put a three in there. And you'll note that a day in terms of this spreadsheet is eight hours. So had you only put in, uh, say, two two-hour sessions over the course of a month, then that would just be half a day and you put 0.5 into this box. If we had made some money during the period, then let's uh, say that we did that and we would enter that into um, our balance area here. So let's say that we made £400. Not bad. And we can see what's happened now is we've got uh, a percentage return, 20%, very nice, thank you. We haven't made any withdrawal at the end of the month, although we could put something in if we wanted to. And we have an actual uh, and percentage gain in the period. So the, the percentage on the compounding period is per day. So that really means that on the first day, we have made 6.27%. On the second day, we made 6.27% of the new total. And on the third day, we made 6.27% on that second new total. And that gave us our 20% return. We can also see that the return per day, the gain per day, was £133.33. In the top section now, we've actually got the closing equity has increased to 2400 uh, we can see what the total gain is there, and we can also see uh, that with this amount of money, 2400 we should be using no more than £1.44 per pip on our overall trading volume. So some very useful trends in there, and very useful information. If we move to the second sheet, which has got a tab marked Cautious, then what we come to is a forecast and put that back into there and bring it in a little you can now see the, the main elements of this and what we've got are first of all our, our months again September but this time we've actually completed all of the boxes and these are free for you to change so I've currently put that we will work four days that's four eight hour days per month. I've also forecast that we will not put any additional deposits into the account and I'm looking for a daily compounding gain percentage 
of three quarters of a percent. And I put that in for every day. So they're figures that I've entered and those boxes are unlocked. Similarly, if I was going to take a withdrawal at the end of a, a month, then I could put the figure into a box here too. So what this is telling us is that on this basis, we'll work 48 days during the year from the 1st of September. Our return would be 43.14% if we manage to A, work that number of days, and B, to get our three quarters of a percent per day. And we can see that this uh, forecast for the full year would give us a profit of 862.81. Nearly gave you a bit too much there. Now, of course, there may be months that we work more days and fewer days, uh, depending on what's going on. And you can change this accordingly. So if, for example, you're going to spend a week trading, increase it. If you're not going to trade in a particular month because you're going to go on holiday, then that's fine too. Also, as the amount in our account, the equity in our account grows, it does tend to become more difficult to keep making the same percentage every day. And therefore, you might want to alter your forecast of what you're going to make over the course of the year. Similarly, you may want to put in some withdrawals and see where that, how that will affect your account. So that will give us a cautious forecast. And you'll see that I've actually given an example of 75%. And I don't think that's a bad figure to use for a cautious forecast. The next tab is called Realistic. And in here, I've put a second forecast. And this time, I've increased the number of days that we're working to five per day, so giving us 60 overall. And I've increased the profit per day of what to 1% of the equity. And we can, and I haven't put any more deposits in or taken any money out. And that would give us a return of 1,633.39, which is going to be 81, nearly 82% of the money we put into the account to start off with. So that's becoming a more serious forecast now. Then I've given a third forecast, which I've titled Ambitious. And again, I've just increased the number of working days by one to six per month. That's six, eight hour uh, sets of trading. Of course, it may be you know, four hours here, six hours there, and so on. Again, no deposits, no withdrawals. And this time, I've increased the percentage daily gain to 1.5%. And remember, that is compounding. And that would give us a return, a total gain of 3,842.32, which would be a return of 192%. So we're going some now. And again, you're free to change any of these figures to reduce or increase the amount of profit, to reduce or increase the number of days, and to put any deposits or withdrawals into place. You might also uh, decide to put in your actual figures. So once September is done, you could put in the September figure. Yep, I actually worked three days. Uh, and the gain that I got was whatever it was, it might have been 0.75%. And that will change the overall calculation for us. Now on the fourth sheet, we have got, first of all, just a summary. But if we scroll across and move to the right, we can now see, if I change the size of that, uh, Moving back over a, a graph of our performance. So the yellow line on here is the cautious forecast, the blue is the realistic, and the red is the ambitious. And you can see to the left hand side that's slightly skewed now because on the ambitious one I changed it to uh, 75% or 0.75%. Uh, the black line on the graph is the actual. And that's gone up after the first month by its whatever it was, uh, 0 0.75, 0 0.1%, whichever it is. And it stayed there. So the graph doesn't go back down to zero just because we've moved on to a new month. 
and that's what we use to forecast and to look at our performance and to also push ourselves to try and make more money within Raven Glen. I hope you enjoy using it and look forward to telling you more about Raven Glen in the near future.